Hello and welcome to another video discussing strings. Strings is a very, very long subject in Visual Basic, but we're going to really focus on um, a very important uh, uh, methods uh, pertaining directly to the class string. So string is a class and has a lot of uh, method associated with it. It's like it has uh, a, uh, an attribute like the length of the string. So we're going to work on uh, substrings to see some of the newer ones uh, comparing to the legacy uh, function that we learned about in the previous example. If you notice here, I have a string one, uh, uh, Visual Basic is fun, that's being assigned to it as a constant or literal string. Uh, so it should, this should be actually string one, uh, the name, the same name of this string here. And notice here, I'm using here the a method associated with string one that is going to extract a substrings from string one starting at position seven and it goes as far as six. If you notice, uh, this is uh, V, it should be position zero now. So zero, one, two, and three, four, five, S base is six, and B is going to be at the position seven. And we need to go as far as, in this case, uh, five, not six, in order to get the, extract the word basic. So we could, but notice this is start at position zero, one, two, three, four, five, and the space is six, and B at the position of uh, seven. So we're going to start at position seven, and it goes as far as five character from there, so it's going to extract the word basic. And of course, we're returning now with, from in, within the function the result that it was stored. Uh, usually, we have seen a previous example of a function where I uh, <coughs> stated that as a uh, result is assigned to the name of the, oh, the name of the function is assigned to the result. I'm using here the keyword return, which is going to give you the same effect. So let's take a, a good look at uh, uh, an actual example where we're going to be able to benefit from uh, the substrings. As you notice, I have a string one here, and it uh, has now uh, a longer strings. I have four names written inside it. I'm going to be using also a real function, the same function, the substring, substrings demo, that is going to receive uh, at this time a three parameter. So I'm going to make it a little bit more dynamic. If you notice, in the function is going to receive a strings it's going to receive an integer which is going to be the first position that I wanted to the substring function to start and uh, LPOS is the last position that is going to go meaning as far as that number of the position and I'm going to declare a local variable or we could call this actually as number of character this would be more meaningful number of character number of chars and so the first position or the really where it's going to start extracting from the strings so if i you see here we are receiving this so i'm assigning this one here to a local variable str1 and now i'm going to manipulate str1 and uh, uh, using the substrings starting at the first I mean the position that I send and it's going to go as far as this number of characters and of course that's should not supposed to be here because I copied it from the previous example so it's going to return the result let's take a look here if I have Alicia Keith Michael and James and in string 2 I'm going to call the function substring demo I'm sending the whole strings you know Alicia Keith Michael James starting at position uh, 7 which is right here okay for the keys and it's going to go as far as 5 positions so the 7 is going to be the FPOS at this moment and the 5 is going to be the number of the char so if I run this it's going to extract for me Keith from the <coughs> strings and that is going to actually the string 2 is going to be communicated to label 1 dex I'm going to use the same label to write every time I extract a uh, substring from uh, the string is going to be write it. And as you notice here, I'm actually calling the uh, function again by sending str1. 
And I'm going now from position 13, which is going to be here at the M, and it's going to go as far as 7. So I'm going to send this to the function. This is going to be 13, and this is going to be uh, 7, as far as 7 character. And uh, hopefully it's going to return for me my call. And after that, I'm going to, this is something we should look at it closely. So in order not to lose uh, Keith from showing in the label text box, I'm keeping him displayed because if I, but I'm concatenating his name to the string three. And of course, in order to separate uh, Keith from Michael's name, not to be next to each other, I put the space. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, str2 is going to be Keith and uh, the label one.txt is going to preserve that since I'm actually using the additional assignment and putting a space in after that is going to add my call. The same thing I'm sending the calling the function, sending the same string, starting at position 21 and it goes as far as 5 and it's going to return for me James and James is going to be concatenated of course to whatever we have in the label text one dot text which is already going to have the two names Michael and Keith so I'll don't lose the previous two because I'm always as you notice using the additional operators and this is going to be string four is going to be Keith so if I go ahead and run this program quickly I want you to notice also that I'm using the return instead of assigning uh, uh, the variable result to the name of the function and you should be able to see those uh, four names Okay, I see Keith, Michael, and James based on the position. So this function is going to receive, regardless of what is the strength, it's going to receive uh, the position. The so substring is going to be receiving the position, and it's going to really go as far as the number of those characters. I hope this gives you an idea about how substrings, and also give you the curiosity to look at uh, more of those functions associated with the class strings. So this is going to be very, really helpful for you when you're trying to manipulate uh, files in the future or long strings and maybe uh, checking for uh, some cases like when people did not really capitalize the first letter of their names, looking for that and replace it. There's a lot of those functionals so that you should be uh, taking your time to study and hopefully you'll be able to use them in the real work. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.